Hello there and welcome back to another car from AK Prestige. Today we have here this undeniably gorgeous 2018 Range Rover Evoque SE Tech. Now, if you've ever seen a AK Prestige video before, you'll know that we like to take you through the good, the bad, and the ugly to know exactly what's gonna be on your vehicle. So starting off with the ugly, and luckily with this car, there's not too many of them. All the alloys are in lovely condition, bar the front passenger alloy, which has a very, very minor scuff here, um, which can be fixed subject to terms and if the customer would like. Now, as well as that, walking around the rest of the car, there really isn't too much to complain about. It, although it's used and it does have 27,000 miles, the car really is excellent overall. Another small point to note is that up here on the bonnet, you do have a very small scratch that the camera can barely pick it up. But of course, with bonnets, they do tend to get scratched more than anywhere else. As well as that, taking a little look around, as said, the rest of the alloys are in lovely condition. The last small negative point to mention before we get to all of the good stuff is over here you've got a small scuff by the door, but otherwise a really stunning condition. Moving on, as for the history of this car, it has had only one owner from new, so whoever, put, whoever will be buying this car will be the second owner. It's come to us direct from Virtue Motors. As well as that, the car is in a gunmetal metallic gray, is in a six gear manual, has main dealer service history with two service stamps so far, and is currently, at the time of this video, the lowest price Range Rover Evoque SE Tech from 2018. Now, if you're wondering what comes with the SE Tech, I'll walk you through that right now as we go inside the car. Firstly, with the SE Tech, you get the upgraded navigation system. As well as that, you get high beam assist. And the final option that you get with the Tech Pack is the upgraded Xenon headlights, which really do light up the road in the evening. Now, we'll make our way inside from the driver's side so that you can see a little bit how it looks inside the cockpit, because of course, that's where you're gonna be spending most of your time. Just one small point before we get inside the car. Another feature that comes with the SE is that when you lock the doors, the wing mirrors turn in. And when you unlock the doors, the beautiful gloss black wing mirrors turn out. It's a nice comfort feature. Walking inside the car, pardon my USB charger. It does come with a USB cable as well. You'll see along the door frame, you've got this gorgeous plush leather moving all the way from the top with this gorgeous stitch stitching and down as well over into the speaker system. As we sit down inside the vehicle, we're greeted by this classic Range Rover steering wheel and infotainment system. Over here, you've got the center infotainment. In order to get the car started, you don't need to plug in your key anywhere. The car is keyless go. All you need to do is put down your foot on the clutch, make sure that the car isn't in gear and press start. So there you have it. It's telling me that the right front door is open, which I'll close now. And we've got the radio tones on straight away in this gorgeous HD screen. Another point to note in this car is that the leather really is lovely. You've got full perforated black leather seats in the front and the rear. The gorgeous black and polished uh, stainless steel look around the car really is lovely and you've got that lovely evoke emblem there as well if i just move my cable out the way again apologies for that what we'll see down here is the usb charger um, sd card for the navigation your aux plug-in down here as expected you do have your um, cup holders and you can tidy that away if you want it to be nice and neat. Moving back over to the steering wheel, what you have is a full multi-function leather steering wheel, which controls your telephony, and on the right-hand side down here controls your uh, cruise control settings. As well as that, you can control the screen from here and the radio from these buttons as well. Other than that, it is relatively straightforward inside the vehicle. The leather seats do come with a heating function, so on those cold winter mornings, you can warm up your back and bottom, ready to get started for the day. We'll move over 
into the rear. So you can take a look at just how much space this car has. Now, I'm a shed over six foot tall and I have quite a lot of space to lean back on. I'm gonna get into the back so you can see just how much space the rear passenger has and I've locked myself out. Fantastic. Open up the rear doors there by pressing the button. And as you can see, the gorgeous perforated leather continues into the rear of the car. As I get into the rear, I've got about two inches of leg room. As mentioned, the shed over six foot tall in the front and the rear can fit extremely comfortably. From here, you can see just how stunning the front cockpit is. Really lovely throughout and the condition in the rear is very nice. Just down here, you do have a little bit of scratching. Another point to note on the rear leather. It, it does pop out more. Sorry, this isn't leather, this is plastic. But um, this can very, very easily be buffed out as well as the rest of the marks on the car as well. Again, you've got your Evoke emblem down here to remind you that you are in fact in a Range Rover. And of course, you've got your armrest here for full comfort and practicality. We'll make our way over to the boot. So you can see oh, exactly just how much storage space you have in this gorgeous, extremely affordable Range Rover. Now, just while I make my way over to the boot, I will mention that we at AK Prestige have something called the Golden Age Philosophy, where most of the cars that we try to buy in have to be within the Golden Age. Now, what I mean by the Golden Age is that the car needs to be anywhere from 45 to 65% of the new car price. Now, when this Range Rover Evoque first came out, it was a shed under 40,000 pounds. It's now being sold for a shed over 20, which means that you're paying around 55% of the new car price, only three years later. Now, this car's just out of the manufacturer's warranty. However, you can get extended Land Rover, Range Rover manufacturer's warranty, and you're still getting a super modern looking car. If you put a private registration on this vehicle, nobody would know if it was three months old or if it was five years old, which is a huge benefit of buying a car in its golden age period. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever, please be sure to reach out. I will be sure to take you around inside the engine bay as well, so you can take a little look inside, just before we wrap up this video. So, I'll just open up the engine bay here. And I'll be good chance on the other side, I believe it's on the other side. Yes, as predicted, a gorgeously dusty engine bay. Now, I always like to say when you see a dusty engine bay, it's a very good sign, especially in a used car, because it means that it hasn't been played around with too much, hasn't been taken apart and put together. It's exactly as you'd expect, running nice and smoothly from you in this stunning, with this extremely practical diesel engine. Now, as mentioned, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach out to us at AK Prestige and we look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.